Hello everyone, today I'm excited to bring you a teardown video of the brand new JBL Clip 5. This compact Bluetooth speaker weights in at just 10.6 ounce and measures 3.4 by 5.3 by 1.8 inches, making it the perfect speaker to travel with. So join me as we take apart the JBL Clip 5. First up, we're going to remove the front cover by carefully prying it off. Here we have the front cover, freshly redesigned to give the JBL Clip 5 a refresh and stylish look that stands out compared to the older model. The underside is also redesigned with dowels and clips that securely hold the cover in place. Unlike the previous model, which relies solely on the dowels that could break and cause the cover to become loose, this new design ensures a much more secure fit. Next, we'll remove the carabiner by taking out two screws from each end. And here we have the carabiner. It's been redesigned with a wider opening, allowing you to hook it onto larger items more easily. Made of sturdy aluminum, the carabiner ensure durability with the opening portion of the hook rubberized, providing a comfortable grip when pressed open. Next, we'll remove the back half of the enclosure by taking out five screws from the front. Once the screws are removed, we can split open the speaker. And here we have the back enclosure. It is well engineered, featuring an attached passive radiator designed to enhance sound quality by improving bass response. The back of the enclosure is also equipped with five rubber strips that provide additional protection and grip when the speaker is laid down. These rubber strips are thick and feel sturdier compared to those found on the Clip 4. Next, we will need to remove the motherboard by taking off four screws. With the motherboard removed, we can detach the driver and the battery cable. Here we have the battery. It is a 3.8 volt, 1400 milliamp hour battery pack with a charge time of approximately 3 hours. It provides up to 12 hours of playtime and can extend to 15 hours with the playtime boost. In my testing, I managed to achieve around 11 hours of playtime without using the boost feature, which I find to be exceptionally good. Now to remove the motherboard, we will need to remove two screws to take off the charging board. And here we have the charging board. Integrated with a USB-C port, the speaker can be fully charged within 3 hours. And here we have the motherboard. It features Bluetooth 5.3 for reliable connectivity along with AuraCast support, enabling seamless pairing of two Clip 5 speaker or other AuraCast compatible JBL speaker. The motherboard also contains buttons for the power, Bluetooth, and AuraCast functionality. Additionally, it is compatible with the JBL portable app, which allows for firmware updates, EQ adjustment, and the ability to connect multiple speakers for a customized audio experience. Now we will remove the control board by taking off two screws. And here we have the control board featuring three simple buttons. These buttons are firm and responsive when clicked, providing a easy and intuitive user experience. Now we will remove the driver by removing three screws. This driver measures around 50 mm, pushing a total of 7 watt of output power. It is a slightly bigger driver and definitely an upgrade from the Clip 4. This driver is much louder 
and has a more prominent and responsive base. Lastly, we have the main body enclosure, which is impressively sturdy and well crafted. The full gasket contributes to its IP67 rating, ensuring excellent water and dust resistant. The strong material and solid construction enhance the overall strength and durability of the speaker, making it reliable for various environments and conditions. And this concludes the teardown of the JBL Clip 5, which I thought was pretty straightforward and simple. There will be many more JBL teardowns coming soon, and I look forward to sharing those with you as well. Until next time, take care everyone.